Hello everyone, this is Anshuman and welcome to the official channel of Aglasem School. So students, today we are going to discuss the solution for chapter 5 NCRT class 7 science book that is Acids, Bases and Salts. Before we go to the solutions, let's revise the chapter briefly. When you talk about acids, acids are the substances that taste shard like curd, orange juice, lemon juice, vinegar, etc. The chemical nature of such substances are acidic. The word acid comes from the Latin word acer which means star. The acids in these substances are natural acids. Now talking about bases. Bases are the substances like baking soda which are bitter in taste and feels soapy on touching and substances which are neither acidic nor basic are called neutral substances. Now indicators. What are indicators? Indicators are the substances that are used to check whether a substance is acidic or basic in nature. The indicators change their color when added to a solution containing an acid or a basic substance. Turmeric, litmus, china rose petals are some of the natural occurring indicators. So students, this was all for this chapter. Now let's move to the solutions. The first solution for this chapter is state the difference between acids and bases and the answer to it will be acids 1 these are sharp to taste bases these are bitter to taste 2 acids turn blue litmus red bases bases do not change the color of blue litmus 3 acids do not change the color of red litmus bases bases turn red litmus blue 4 acids with china rose indicators these give dark pink color. Bases. Bases give green color with china rose indicators. 5. Acids. Acids do not change the color of turmeric indicator. Bases turn the color of turmeric indicator to red. Now let's see question number 2. Ammonia is found in many household products such as window cleaners. It turns red litmus blue. What is its nature? And the answer to it will be Ammonia is a basic in nature as it turns the color of red litmus paper to blue. Now let's see question number 3. Name the source from which litmus solution is obtained. What is the use of the solution? And the answer will be litmus solution is obtained from lichens. A natural dye extracted from lichens is dissolved in distilled water to obtain litmus solution. It is used as an indicator to distinguish between acids and bases. Now let's move to question number 4. Is the distilled water acidic, basic or neutral? How would you verify it? And the answer to it will be distilled water is neutral in nature. The same can be verified by using red and blue litmus. Neither will show a color change with distilled water. This proves that distilled water is neutral. Now let's see question number 5. Describe the process of neutralization with the help of an example. And the answer to it will be the reaction between an acid and a base is known as neutralization reaction. In this reaction, both acids and bases cancel each other's effect. Neutralization reaction results in the formation of salt and water. During this reaction, energy in the form of heat is evolved. For example, when sodium hydroxide or NaOH is added to hydrochloric acid or HCl, Sodium chloride or NaCl and water or H2O are obtained. Now let's move to question number 6. Mark T if the statement is true and F if the statement is false. 1. Nitric acid turns red litmus blue which is false. 2. Sodium hydroxide turns blue litmus red. This is also false. 3. Sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid neutralize each other and form salt and water. This statement is true. 4. Indicator is a substance which shows different colors in acidic and basic solution. This is also true. 5. Two decay is caused due to the presence of a base. This is false. Now let's move to question number 7. Dorji has a few bottles of soft drinks in his restaurant. But unfortunately, these are not leveled. He has to serve the drinks on the demand of the customers. One customer wants acidic drink, another wants basic and third onwards neutral drink. How will Doji decide whose drink is to be served to whom? And the answer to it will be like this. Since the drinks are edible, Doji can take the decisions of tasting the drinks. 
Acidic drinks will be short to test, whereas basic drinks will be bitter to test, and neutral drinks will have no taste. If Dorji has litmus indicator, then he can take its help. He should put one drop of each drinks on blue litmus paper. If the color of the litmus paper changes to red, then it is an acidic drink. Out of the remaining drinks, some are acidic and some are neutral. Again, he should put one drop of the remaining drinks on red litmus paper. If the color changes to blue, then it is basic and the others are neutral. In this way, he can serve all the three customers their respective drinks. Now let's move to question number 8. Explain why A part, an antacid tablet is taken when you suffer from acidity. And the answer to it will be, this is because during acidity, an excess of acid is produced in the stomach. And antacid contains base such as milk of magnesia. These bases react with excess of acids and neutralize their effects, thus giving us relief. Now let's see the B part. Calamine solution is applied on the skin when an ant bites. And the answer to it will be, when an ant bites, it injects formic acid into the skin. Calamine solution contains zinc carbonate which is basic in nature, therefore, it is applied on the skin to neutralize the effect of the formic acid. Now C. Factory waste is neutralized before disposing it into the water bodies. And the answer to it will be, factory waste contains acid. Therefore, these waters when thrown directly to water bodies harm aquatic lives. Hence, these wastes are neutralized with basic chemicals before disposing to water bodies. Now let's move to question number 9. Three liquids are given to you. One is hydrochloric acid, another is sodium hydroxide and the third is a sugar solution. How will you identify them? You have only turmeric indicators. And the answer to it will be, we will put a drop each of hydrochloric acid, sodium hydroxide and sugar solution on the turmeric indicator. The liquid which changes the color of turmeric indicator to red is basic in nature. This is sodium hydroxide. Now we will put a drop of sodium hydroxide on a drop of each of the other two liquids separately. After that, we will put the drops of these mixtures on turmeric indicator. The drop which will change the color of the turmeric indicator to red contains sugar solution. This is because the mixture of basic and neutral solution is basic in nature. On the other hand, the drop which will not change the color of turmeric indicator contains hydrochloric acid. This is because hydrochloric acid or HCl reacts with sodium hydroxide to form a neutral solution. Now let's see question number 10. Blue litmus paper is dipped in a solution, it remains blue. What is the nature of the solution? Explain. And the answer to it will be, we know that basic and neutral solutions do not change the color of the blue litmus paper. Since blue litmus remains blue after dipping in the solution. The solution is either basic or neutral in nature. Put a drop of this solution on a red litmus paper. If it turns blue, then the above solution is basic in nature. And if no color change occurs, then it is neutral. Now let's see question number 11. Consider the following statements. A. Both acids and bases change the color of all indicators. B. If an indicator gives a color change with an acid, it doesn't give a change with a base. C. If an indicator changes color with a base, it doesn't change color with an acid. And D. Change of color in an acid and a base depends on the type of the indicator. Which of the statements are correct? 1. All 4 2. A and D 3. B and C or 4. Only D And the answer to it will be Four, only D. So students, this was all for this chapter. Hope you liked this video. And if you did, then don't forget to like it and share it with your friends. And do subscribe our channel for more such NCRT videos. If you still have any doubts regarding this chapter, then you can let us know by writing in the comment section below. We will surely get back to you. See you soon. Till then, bye-bye.